All right. So the challenge or the goal for this project was to improve the conversion on the registration process, so the purchase process. And in order for me to um, be able to make uh, some reasonable just recommendations that it will actually have a positive impact on the conversion, I need to understand the different flows we currently have. And that's the reason that I started by creating these different user flows. For the sake of this example, let's take a business that it's only need for the moment just a single background check. So for that, they're gonna come here, right? So they, they feed that information, they select the option that's gonna be just a single background check on this time. They fill this information, so far so clear. Click next, and this is the first page that they see to select the product. Now. In order for me to be able to make the right decision as a user, as a consumer, and I am given four options to select only one of them, I gotta make sure that I understand the difference between all four. So that means that I need to read them all before I can select just one. In this scenario, this first option, uh, which is for the critical criminal background investigation, it is close to a thousand words. And if I select, I read that word, I mean the whole text, then I select the next one because I need to understand and compare and select the best option that fits the needs for my business. So the second option, the diligent, it's over 600 words. The next six, 660 words and even more here. Okay, but you get the point that there is a lot of information in order for us to make these purchase process a lot smoother and easier for the end user, we need to remove all this text. We need to make it easier for them to select the product and move on. But this information is important. So I thought that in order, instead of putting it here on the purchase process, let's put on the services so at least they can understand the different products and research on their own before they make the decision to buy. And for that, it is well, before I can do this, before I can uh, recommend any content architecture for all those text, I needed to understand what was in there. So in order to start, what I did, I just select all these texts and put it on a Word document, and I started reading them all. So once I finished reading uh, the first one for the critical criminal background investigation, I, it was about a thousand words, then I read the second one. And so I realized reading the second one that the text sounds or reads very familiar. And this is what happened. Let me move my screen here. So this is the text for the critical background investigation. Then I brought in the diligent one. And I started highlighting the, the text that it was repeated on a previous selection or any of the selections. So the, uh, the text that you see in black is a text that is unique to this selection. Everything else that you see in blue is repeated three times amongst the different options. What I mean repeated is when I read this option, critical, okay, fine. When I read the second one so I can make a decision, I need to compare both of them, so I need to read these two. But I'm reading exactly, the, well, not exactly, but pretty much 90%, 85% in this case, the same information. Among these two options, which is the diligent and the basic, it was like 90%. And sometimes so small that I don't think most users are reading it. For example, this is the Word document for the basic background investigation. Okay, fine. The first introduction paragraph is unique to this option. Everything else is the same as the other one, which is the diligent. Everything else is exactly the same. Only the first paragraph, the first two paragraphs. But notice this. This small sentence here, it is the only difference between the two, which that's the key problem that I've seen so far in, in this process, that we are making two very similar options for the user to select, and which is very difficult to understand the difference. But in order for us, that the goal is to remove all these text from these options, and the same happens for the nannies. Uh, if you're gonna buy a caregiver option, the background investigation, 
they go for even more text. When you select that option, this is the first page, which is 1600 words. I understand that most people, they don't read it all, but they need to read it because they don't need to. But when you're making a decision for a nanny that's going to be taking care of my baby and you're presenting me with all this information, I feel regardless of the amount of money, I feel like I have to make the right decision for the caregiver. So I need to know what are the options? What are you telling me here to make sure that I make an educated decision? So for the nannies, that's a lot as well. But again, we're not providing any information outside of the person's process. And for that, it's why I recommend it that we do it on the services page. This is just a wireframe. This is on the live side. This is a prototype. I just screenshot this section. But my my idea is that on the services page, let's let's see what we have right now. So we can make a good comparison. This is what we have right now. If I click on services, notice this. For criminal background investigation, we only have this minimal information. But we're given thousands of words of explanation on the process process. Look at this for qualifications, very minimal. So we're not, ex I mean, we have a lot of room to expand and this is how we can do it. On the services, we have a drop down that lists all the different type of backgrounds. We have the criminal backgrounds, qualifications, caregivers, drug screening, and credit reports. And right here, it, we give a clear idea for the user for the deeper, different type of products that we have. And once, let's, let's select the first one, criminal background investigations. So this page, it's all about criminal background investigation. We tell them the criminal background investigation can include, by the way, I did not create any text. I mean, I created that headline, but just to separate. But overall, I did not create any specific text. I only combined everything that I found through the registration process. For that, I'll get started. So first, we let them know what are the options that could be included on the options that they're going to select. Advanced identity search, uh, county level, all that information. Notice that I have not provided any buy now or start now or get started. Because at the moment, they don't have enough information to make a decision. I mean, we're telling them what, what could be included. But it's in here that we tell them the different options that they have, which is the critical. That's the summary that we already have uh, again, from the Word documents that is existing on the Get Started process. And what's included? We told them already the description for all of this, and they can just easily access, and these are included in that option. If you want that, get started, or schedule a consultation. I noticed some of the sections, for example, here on the, on the actual services page for the live site, instead of get started, we have scheduled a consultation, which I think it's pretty good that we give them the option, but instead of, let's give the option together, like they can make that decision. So that's a con something consistent that I did throughout the mockups. I put these two buttons together. I make this one different uh, to be the primary button to get started or secondary button to schedule the con uh, consultation. So these are the criminal background options, uh, critical, brief summary of what it is and what's included again everything's up there the diligent brief summary what is included basic the same formula summary information description and what is included and in case they have any question or are not sure we even make it even easier for them to use in that comparison table like right now within this context i can see the difference of all that information that has been provided to me now. Let me quit this. That has been provided to me now. So, and this is an example for the criminal background investigations. And we do the same for the qualifications. Notice that we have the options here. This is like a sub menu for the services page so they can quickly access the different sections here. Or they can do the same from the drop down. <clears throat> Qualifications, we have the same uh, same process, the same formula. 
the introduction. Again, this is based on the existing content. Notice that we don't need to lo no longer repeat the same text. We can put it on the same page so the users or the, the consumers, they see what are the options that we provide to them. Qualification investigations can include, and we describe them. That's everything that could be included. But we don't sell them alone, so we don't put buy now or get it now or get started here because we don't sell them alone. That's what could be included. It is in this table that we explain which one are you going to select and what's going to be included. And now we tell them, okay, get started or schedule a consultation. For the caregivers, same process. I took all that information that was existing on the page uh, in this year. I like this option, this treatment uh, that we're using right now that it's collapsible. But just for the sake of content architecture, I put everything open. So that's why it's more extent, but we can use it like that at the end. So this is the introduction. And these are the three levels of criminal background investigation that's going to be included. We, If they want to find out more about background, a criminal background investigation, we have a section just entirely for that, which is here. So here we can take the liberty of just summarizing it. As, as a matter of fact, maybe we can make a, a link here so they can see more. But this is good enough. Yeah, this is the price and the summary uh, that we currently have. Then we tell them that we also offer several qualifications investigation that can be added to any of the criminal background investigations. We tell them the options that they have or what is included. And now we tell them to get started or schedule a consultation. So right now, as a somebody looking for these type of products, it is a safe environment in which I can do my own research and make a decision before I am ready to be in a good, mentally prepared to make the buying decision. And then we put all that information that was already included on the throughout the forms. How does it work, the process? How long does it take? This is a pretty good uh, information here, legal compliance. I think that's pretty uh, relevant and very valuable information. FAQs, all that is included in there. So on itself, it makes a very solid product page for that uh, background, for the caregivers' background investigations. And I think that this is also a very solid approach for SEO because you can now use AdWords or even marketing and target those specific products. Like if you have a campaign about criminal background investigation, you can take them there. It's everything about it. If you make a campaign about caregivers or nannies, background investigation, boom, there's a page for it. And I also included drug screening. This is not much here. I mean, it's good content, but compared to the other ones, it looks light, but it is because the other one have so much. And credit reports. And again, this is taken from the live site. This is, I saw it was mentioned here. So I included it. So right now we have all the different products segmented in a way that people can actually research. And then we provide them the option to get started. And that is my approach for the content architecture to how to organize the content of the different services and products in the services page. If we are able to achieve something like this, we are able to then remove all the extra text that is needed for the purchasing process, for the get started process. All that information, it can be removed. In addition, that is repetitive and I'm forcing it to be read. It's already outside on the page, on the website itself, on the corporate site. So when we get here, hey, make a selection. If you have any question, we can link them, link them back to the page. That's why I included the qualifications. So again, we don't need to have all that information. That's already covered. It's already included on, on the services page. Like in here, for example, look at these two. Only when I compare next to each other, I see that they repeat. Standard, standard, employment, employment. So all that is removed, all that redundancy is eliminated. 
and it's make it easier for the user to digest. So we're gonna be able to greatly reduce the number of words and the steps on the get started process if we are able to move everything for the services page like this. Okay, I'll be available to discuss if you have any questions. Thanks.